I'm waiting on notification. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of the People's Podcast this afternoon. We have an amazing couple that is promoting something that is very important to us and to the community. Um, that is the 10th 10 year anniversary of the marriage retreat. First of all, Assalamu alaikum family. Yes, and this is student minister uh, Marcus with his lovely wife, Sister Cecilia. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedule to give us some information as well as some inspiration. All right. Thank you, be so loud. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, both of my sisters send the greetings. Sister Naima and Sister Miriam. Oh, oh uh, hugs and kisses to them and them beautiful babies. Praise be to her. Before we get started in your personal, you all's personal uh, love story, we want the question that people want to know is why why is there a marriage retreat and what is the importance of that? The, well, first of all, we, we just want to give because this is the celebration of the 10th annual marriage retreat. And we know in the nation of Islam that we do courtship for our single brothers and sisters. And how it really all started was you know, way back when before Facebook opened, if we remember where brother Patrick Muhammad here in Atlanta, Georgia had started the group with all the believers around the country signing up to socialize on the internet. And they had a lot of different single, uh, you know, single groups on there. And my husband would go on and, you know, participate and assist our single brothers and sisters at that time. And one of the sisters was in one of those a couple of times. And she said, brother, I would like for you to host a marriage retreat. Now, this was a single sister. She was an event planner. And she asked my husband to do it because she said, you know, as for us in the nation, that we have to have a marriage chaperone if we're going to do, you know, singles events. There's supposed to be a couple of married couples. And she said that she was finding that a lot of the couples that she would go to, to ask to chaperone, she would find out that they were getting a divorce. And so because of that, she said, I believe it is necessary. And that's Sister Deborah X. Washington. She's out of Tennessee. I don't know if she's still there or not, but she was the one who initiated the, the uh, marriage retreats. And when she, uh, by the fourth one, she decided that, you know, she, she was finished with assisting with it. And we continued it on in her honor because, again, Allah used her to start the marriage retreat for our nation. Praise be to Allah. Excellent. And, and thank you all for continuing to uphold that banner. Uh, St Brother Earl sends the greetings. Sister Mariah, Sister Mariah sends the greetings. And thank you all for continuing to watch the People's Podcast. Well, Brother Marcus, as, as a man, I've yeah. seen... Um, it, it, the, the stereotype is that black men don't want to get married. And before we went live, you were telling me that that was not necessarily the case. Can you yes. please share with us that there are black men who desire to get married? There are plenty of black men that desire to get married. A lot of times they get turned down mm. as they are trying to get married. Because mm. in the nation this time, we ask for the sister to marry us. And I had a brother call me. He said, I've asked Brother Marcus several times and no sister would accept my hand in marriage. And I was hurt for my, I brought him on my show immediately to introduce him to everybody out there who wants a single brother and he's still not married. <laughs> oh, man. I was hoping for a happy, I was hoping for a happy story. I know, I know you were, but he's still not married. I mean, we, I can't make the sisters want you, but I can present you in a favorable light. That's why we do our singles activity weekend where we get to introduce these single brothers and single sisters who, who want to get married and who want to find a partner. And that's what our weekend is for. It's for you when you're ready to get married, come to our singles weekend, our singles uh, success weekend. We're going to have one coming up in December, Allah willing. Uh, but yeah, there are married brothers out there. A lot of us get married and that's all we do. We get married and we're kind of wondering, is this all there is to marriage? No, I 
how a marriage retreat teaches you the other side of marriage, mm. the fun mm. part of marriage, mm. that you can enjoy your partner so much more than what you are currently enjoying them. And that's what the marriage retreat is definitely for. It's for you if you're ready to enjoy marriage in the nation of Islam. Wonderful. Okay, excellent. My next question, thank you all for seeing Watch People's Podcast. My next question for you is, with um, it being virtually, what type of activities will you have, or being virtual, what type of activities do you have for the married couples? And is it only for married couples to sign up for, or can single people sign up as well? No, no. <laughs> we cannot have no single people present. Okay, we okay. We don't want to hear of the problems that we are experiencing as married couples, and that might further dissuade you from being married. So we have wonderful activities in that we're going to this year, of course, be online because we don't want to be in front of our beloved minister with any sick believers that we cause them to get sick. So we are taking that off the table completely and doing this online. And we have our brothers uh, from all over the nation of Islam that are helping us and our sisters as well. Uh, we have our wonderful student minister, Ishmael Muhammad, who is the national assistant of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. He will be at this year's marriage retreat and he's gonna speak on Saturday. And we want everyone who can be available to hear that, to hear what he has to say. We also have our beloved brother, our big brother, brother Abdul Sharif Muhammad, who is gonna be with us on Friday. And we got him to do something he ain't done in a long, long time. He is going to talk about the black box that mm -hmm. we all have but we don't know much about it. And so we're gonna have him talk about the black box with us. We also have our beloved regional minister from the West Coast, Brother Minister Abdul Saeed uh, Maliki, Ma Malik, Ma Malik Saeed <laughs> Muhammad, <laughs> formerly Brother Tony. <laughs> He's gonna to be with us on that coming Friday. And we are going to have a wonderful time with him. He's going to do something virtual or uh, with the PowerPoint that's going to be very dynamic for us to hear. We also have our minister who is with us in 2014 at the fourth annual marriage retreat. Minister of the International Representative, Minister Akbar Muhammad is going to be with us as well. He's going to do the kukbah this year for us who are going to experience Juma prayer online. And we also have with us our minister brothers, Don. Uh, our minister Donna is going to be our host minister. He's going to be at all of our sessions with us as well. And then we're going to have um, um, brother Daoud and sister Simone will yes. be doing credit restoration. Yes, uh, we they have we've had a phenomenal time with them in, at the marriage retreats. Has helped some married couples to get homes by following his step by step process. Thanks be so They will be able to do that. They will have sister Melissa from D.C. who will be doing hers on the personality of money. Very powerful, very interactive. Very powerful. So being that it's virtual, the only difference being that we're not in the room hugging and greeting each other like we do, going out to dinner together like we would normally do. So basically the activities, they will still have it. We, uh, we have shipped out their workbooks already. So a lot of the couples already have their materials to get ready uh, for this week. Uh, so it's, it's basically, like I said, we still have our wonderful women's own, uh, wives only and husband only circles. So we'll be going, instead of going into separate meeting rooms, we'll be going into separate virtual rooms this time around and having those very, I mean, they're, they're so powerful because to me personally, it, it's, it's energizing, it's invigorating because you get to hear couples give solution to others. When you have from newlyweds to, I think our uh, youngest couple, I'll say, they're about to ma be married 50 years. 
and to have all of that experience in the room and to learn from each other. I mean, it's so, and for brothers, they hear brothers, at first the brothers will say, well, I don't want to come to no marriage retreat. And then they're the first ones the next year saying, I got to put in, you know, my hours at work for my vacation because they love what they're getting at the marriage retreats because it's the more we have tools to help us to be successful in the process of marriage, the more we can lessen the divorce rate. And that's what it's really about is that, look, our first mind shouldn't be, I'm exiting, I'm leaving, I'm yes. out of here. No, we said, that's why our slogan is fight for your fight. marriage. That's right. When you're in a fight, you're going to do all that's in you to make it happen and that's what it's all about with the marriage retreats for couples to come together and to sit there and just listen and i invite anyone if you have never went to our website the marriage keepers with the com, and just listen to the testimonials of believers in the nation as well as those who are our christian brothers and sisters that's right also because this is not just a muslim event this is open to everyone who is a husband and wife because again you're getting medicine to help us to be better and who don't want to be better in their marriages because i don't know about you when you happy in your marriage everything else goes right <laughs> okay also excellent want to mention brother we have brother james and sister tiffany who are yes. going to do a wonderful session on overts and withholds which is a scientology term and they're going to do a fabulous job with that for us on this coming friday it's going to be a wonderful opportunity to learn uh, together. That's what we're doing this for, for us to be together because we are not together enough in terms of married couple, people who are married to strengthen each other. This is about strengthening each other. Make a weak Muslim strong. That's what we're doing with the marriage keepers. We're trying to make weak Muslims who are weak in their faith in their marriage, they're ready to walk away from their marriage. We got some coming that are going to walk away if we don't rescue them. We are like us right here. We are like the, 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 the ship is passing and somebody can jump overboard. And we are like those rescuers who are, who are out there in the dark trying to throw a line to them and let them know that their marriage can make it in 2020. We're excited about what God is going to do this coming Thursday. We're going to grade our marriages, brother. A lot of us are in marriage, but we've never graded them. We don't know how we're doing. We don't know if we're doing well in that area or if we're not doing well in that area. But we have so many areas that you're going to grade your husband on, grade your wife on so that they will know how they're doing in the marriage. It's very important that you know if you're getting better. And it's very important that your husband or wife know that you think they're not getting better. In fact, they're getting worse in that area. That will be also what you all discuss. We're not going to get nobody's business. We're not putting you on front street at all. We're not going to parade you on the screen in front of everybody and say, look at them, look at them. No, we're not. It's a very personal thing between you and your husband, you and your wife, and you all have to dialogue and discuss what's going on in your marriage. Praise be to Allah. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Sister Mariah says, y'all are amazing. This It's a blessing that we have them doing what they do for the couples in the nation. They keep it real and with love and every and she loves everything you say. So Latrice says, Sister Melissa does an excellent job financial um, yes. in her financial yes. class. Sister Naima says, fight for your marriage, loves it. Sister Miriam says, all praises due to Allah. And Sister Mariah says, all praises due to Allah. Okay, excellent. Now, so this upcoming event, we want to get the exact date and how do we and how do people register? All right. The exact date is fact is coming up this week so it will be august the 27th through the 30th that's, that's thursday all. it starts thursday friday saturday sunday we listen to the lecture and then we'll have questions and answers afterwards to close out and then also we normally have a renewal of vows with our couples that come to the retreats 
because uh, so that's basically a four days of just some great um, subject matters getting into it. Like my husband said, uh, the, it's designed for us to really, we are taught that we are scientists, but we have to be scientists in every area of our life. So if you're in a marriage and there's issues, if we keep sweeping it under the rug, sweeping it under the rug, oh, she's not arguing about it. He's not arguing about it. So we good. No, let's really, really look at this and say, are we really good? Where can we get some more assistance? Where can we get some more help? Do we need more help financially? Do we need more help in investment? So with the marriage retreats, just over the years of doing it to hear what the issues are and to bring that information to the couples so that they can get what they need to help them to sustain their marriage. Because like the minister, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan has told us, there's no excuse for ignorance. Not in this day and time when you got your smartphone in your hand, but you dumb in the head. That just doesn't make any sense at it's all. Yes, the knowledge that's here to help us go to the next level. Like we told couples, if your marriage is boring, it's not exciting, then the question you have to ask yourself is what are you doing to make it different? You just can't say, well, it'll get better by itself. No, you you got a degree, you went to college, anything that you wanted of greatness, you had to work really hard at that. So if you want yes, a great if you want a great relationship, you can't put it on the back burner. I'll get to that after work, after children, after this. It got to be a priority like everything else in our life. And that's what we love to help couples to realize is that you can have what you want to have when you put the energy and your thought behind it. Because sometimes we we're like zombies. We go day to day, day to day, day to day, day to day. And then you realize, oh, I don't like you. You don't like me. And, and COVID-19 have definitely done that for some people. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, man. Right. I'm in school right now and I uh, almost finished with my bachelor's by a lot. Praise be to a lot. Praise be to a lot. I, yes, I'm working so hard to help Minister Farrakhan. Uh, I want to be a marriage and family therapist in the nation. Uh, yeah. I know that we need it so badly in the nation and I want to help him in that regard because so many of our brothers and sisters, we don't like ourselves personally. That's the baggage that we carry into the marriage. You cannot enter into marriage hoping that that man will love me more than I dislike myself. Yes, sir. Into, into marriage, you cannot do it and say, I hope she'll love me more than I dislike myself. You have to find your peace, even before marriage, you gotta come to God and you got to be honest with God. A lot of us are afraid to have a God conversation, but we are going to get you to think about God in a very wonderful way during this marriage retreat. I can promise you, you're gonna learn a lot by Allah's grace. And you're going to walk away saying, damn, where, has, where have I been all the time that this marriage retreat was going on. A lot of people out there who know that they need help, but they won't take help. I don't know why they won't, because they feel like we're not qualified. Come on, brothers and sisters. We've been doing this thing for 10 years. We had some of the best in the nation to come to our marriage retreat. And I can tell you that it's going to help your marriage. We're not trying to hurt nobody's marriage in 2020. We're not trying to hurt you. Again, we're not putting you on blast. This is not an attempt to do that to you. We just want you to come and really listen. Listen to what we're going to tell you to help your marriage be strong and great. Everybody's marriage could be a little better than what it is. Everyone's marriage could stand a little more improvement. That's what we are trying to do. As great as your marriage is, I'm willing to bet it needs to be a little bit more improved. And that's what we are trying to do. We're trying to improve your marriage. Praise be so a lot. Excellent. And um, 
Brother Sly Hughes says you can't court nobody, then sit on Facebook uh, chopping it up with everybody. Okay, that's right, Brother Sly Hughes. Um, my sister Miriam says congratulations uh, to you, Brother Minister, on your um, um, pursuit of your degree. So praise Mr. Sly for that. My next question is, Marriage Retreat Thursday, when are you ever going to do something for the singles again, or is that out the door? Yes, yes, yes. We hope to have something for the singles announced um, within September. We hope to do something in December for the singles. We are working on something that's big. It's wonderful, and it will involve us getting out there doing some stuff that we might not be used to, like marriage, but we're going to do something that's going to excite the singles. I can guarantee you that. Praise All praises be to Allah. Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to make sure that I put, put this on, upload this on YouTube so that people who are married can, can definitely tune in and tap in to hear the powerful information that you all are presenting as long as well as your guest presenters. Um, and you're and you sure none of the single people can can just peek in? Is that what you're saying? No, nope. <laughs> we are no, absolutely they def sure. definitely. And and see, that's that's the part too by God's grace of doing the marriage keepers is that you hear a lot of things that help us to help the singles in their path of courtship because when we're dealing with a lot of couples and we're doing the courtship process correctly then there are going to be issues that come up and we'll say, oh, I can fix that later in the marriage, not knowing that that will be this very issue that causes them to get a divorce. Absolutely. So when mm. we really start to understand that as for our single brothers and sisters listening, that if you already know your personal deficiencies for yourself, work on your own personal deficiencies. Like my husband mentioned, if you're unhappy with yourself, you can't go into a relationship saying, oh, this man or woman going to make me happy. No, you have to be happy. You and Allah have to have a relationship for yourself for you to be happy. And your husband or your future mate will add additional on top of it. Like you said, you have the cake and the icing is on it. Some cakes you don't need, you don't even need to put icing, but other ones you want to put icing because it makes it look pretty, it makes it taste good. That's what you're looking for within yourself when you're looking for a partner. You got to know who you are. How can I, as a sister, go into a relationship saying, well, I'm gonna depend totally on my husband? No, you have to be sufficient for yourself and merge the two of you together to make a kingdom. And see, that's the part that we like to say for our single brothers and sisters, you're looking for a lifetime partner. And if we put that in our mind that I'm looking for a lifetime partner, then I'm gonna really have to stop and think and meditate on a lot. What do I want to do for my future? Where do I want to go? Where do I want to travel? Where do I want to live? How many children? Do I want any more children? Because again, whatever your age is right now, what are your lifetime goals? You are a God. You're supposed to be thinking into the future. That's what we're supposed to be doing, thinking into the future. So if I'm thinking into the future, when we are in courtship, I'm not looking at you because your muscles are real big. I'm not looking at you because you look so beautiful in that garment. I'm looking at your spirit. I'm looking at your heart. And for us to help single couples to begin to do that, then that says now that you are in preparation and the preparation is your self preparation. I'm not even worried about who that man or woman is. If I'm preparing myself right, the right one will be attracted to us. And we've heard in the last couple of years, a lot of couples said, I wasn't even looking to be married. I was just working on my mm -hmm. self. That's right. And that person was presented to us because some of us say, well, I can't find a good wife or I can't find a good husband. We asked the question one time, maybe you're not ready. Maybe you're not where Allah wants you to be for that spouse. Mm. Maybe we're not where we're supposed to be spiritually, morally, ethically. We never think about that part. We just think in the other part, but that's another side of the equation. Are we where we need to be for that powerful spouse that we want in our life? 
And we've heard the minister Farrakhan said, he said, shoot, y'all, yeah, we love the minister Farrakhan. He said, but I would run half of y'all, more and more majority of y'all through the door. <laughs> we'll run you through the door. Well, guess what? We have brothers with that same spirit and that same mindset that's looking for a particular type of wife because they're really trying to practice to be a FOI. And the brother and sister who are really living the life, they're not going to accept you DMing them. <laughs> we got a lot of that going on too, brother. Oh um, no, I didn't know that. No, no, that's a deal. But you know, we do have a show for single people tomorrow. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk about what's the topic we're dealing with. Love. Uh, uh the oh Lord, it's sad. <laughs> so much going it's, it's all right, it's all right. But uh, we do have tomorrow's show in the for show the singles. For it's our for single single brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters tomorrow. That's right. And it's going to deal with um how to make people like you there you go you know that's something that people sometimes they, they have personality quirks they don't know why people don't like them but you need to ask that question why or how do i make people like me you might have to overcome some of what you are bringing maybe you got a nasty attitude Mm, mm. Maybe that's what people not telling you, but that's what you got. A nasty ass. Maybe your breath need a little work. I don't know. I don't know. But we want to talk to single people about the stuff that's keeping you from getting married in 2020. I, I, it's going to be a great show by the grace of Allah. We got Brother Minister Lee Muhammad and his beautiful wife who is coming on the show. Sister Lasagna, she's going to come on the show. And they're going to talk about this with us. So all praise is due to Allah. Praise be to Allah. Well, I want to make sure if there's anything that I can do to further in Strong Family, Strong Nation, I'm all about it. So if y'all do something for the singles, please let me know. Y'all can this the oh, podcast oh, is yours. Oh, so y'all can come back and um, <laughs> um and use it to promote. I want to just read some of the comments. So the tree says, Yes, the singles need love too. So the trees D Muhammad says the Tracy says good teaching. Right, court yourself. My sister Mimi says, Josh, please. And then Sister Tracy says, mm hmm. Okay. Well, I want to thank you all for coming on the People's Podcast and giving us this information so we can put it on YouTube and um, just promote it. Anything that I can do, once again, I'm here for you all. Thank you. I'm, I'm rooting for all of the marriage couples, the married couples to stay together. And I'm hoping that the single people get married. So praise be to Allah. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you. W -W dot themarriagekeepers.com www.themarriagekeepers.com that is our website and we sure hope you'll get a chance to visit us praise be to Allah I put this on YouTube today and may Allah bless, continue to bless you all and love you and your family As love you and your family and hugs and kisses to Sister Sharifa for us yes ma'am thank you very much Assalamu alaikum, alaikum. 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 alaikum.